That's where fish live. Good sit, yes, good sit. Hey friends, and welcome to another episode of Badass Outdoors. Uh, I'm in my boat and it's not in the water. That's because it's sitting in the backyard. And I was going through and organizing my boat and I thought I would show you a little bit about how I set up my boat for salmon and steelhead fishing or trout fishing or really any sort of fishing that you would do out of a drift boat. While I'm not in the water because I can't fish in the state that I live in, I can get ready for when things open back up and I can go fishing. So I thought I'd show you a little bit about how I organize and set up everything. And, um, and you get a little walk through of what my boat looks like when I go fishing. So here we go. I run an 18 foot Clackamax drift boat. And I love this boat because there's plenty of room for me and three of my clients to sit in the boat, have all of our things, some snacks, and all of our gear for a full day of fishing. And it's kind of nice for Oli to stretch out in and run around in too. I use my boat for river trips and I use my boat for lake trips. If I want to throw my Minn Kota motor on the back and go buzzing around the lake for a trout or whatever kind of bass fishing I want to do, I can do all of those things out of this boat. But for the most part, I have my boat in a river and I'm in moving water all of the time. So with that in mind, the way that I organize my boat is to maximize my efficiency when I need to uh, retie something or to get more gear out or whatever it is I need to do. So the most important things in my boat, I always keep within arm's reach of me. That's why I have a little holder right here with some of the tools that I use most, always right here within reach. And I generally have like, um, a pair of uh, like scissors and things like that, all kind of hanging out right next to me. The other thing I have is access to this cubby. And in this cubby, I keep all of the gear that I use the most often and I try to organize it in boxes. So within an arm's reach, I have those boxes all set up here in my, I have Plano boxes and my floats, the stick weights that I use for fishing and all of the things that I need for that kind of setup with fishing. I keep it all in one box so it's easy to grab and use and go. Some things I also keep is like a little bag of gloves that's really, really handy to me. And whatever kind of line that I'm using for leaders, I'll keep an extra roll of that in the boat with me. And other little tools and things that are already tied up. The things that I'm gonna use most commonly, and if I'm in moving water, things that I can use and retie up without stopping my boat. So things that are gonna happen really, really quickly, all within just a quick reach into my cubby next to me. Now, underneath my seat, I keep things that I definitely need, but maybe don't need quick access to. So an example of that is I have some extra trash bags that I leave in here. I have some bait here and some extra Ziploc bags in case I get a salmon and wanna harvest the salmon and the eggs and use that for future bait. I keep some of that extra stuff in here. I keep extra towels. I keep extra random bags of floats with a Quest Bar wrapper in. That can go into the shop. Um, and I keep a fillet knife and always, always, always extra plugs. My boat takes two plugs in the back and I have two and I also have a spare two, I believe, um, hanging in the bottom. So these are always going to be backups that I have available and extra rod holders and things that I might need along the way, but maybe don't necessarily need quick access to. I also have throwable floaties and other safety equipment, you know, a whistle, other like important safety equipment to have in a boat. So those are all of the storage pieces and how I kind of organize myself uh, according to what I might need access to and what I can kind of tuck away and don't need access to. Another feature that I really like about my boat is my anchor setup. So there's lots of different ways to set up your anchor in a drift boat or in a pontoon or raft style boat. And I've had a couple different ones. The one that I have right now is like this pedal drop. So when I kick this pedal, my anchor drops out the back. And when I wanna bring up my anchor, all I have to do is pull the rope up and it pulls the anchor up. Again, all something that I can do from wearing seated. And it's great to have good systems around you, especially if you're 
you're in a boat, especially if you're in moving water, where you need to be alert and ready to react to your environment, these sorts of things can actually be like great safety measures as well. So moving on, I have a really great system for where I keep my rods. I keep my rods in my rod holders on the side. And so the reels kind of sit in this cubby and the tips of the rods slide into this piece in the back. Now, I really like that because I can leave my rods all set up and just slide them in. And they're guided by this little gunnel along the side and ready to go and ready to use any time that I want. Um, so I have those sitting on both sides. So something that I do is when a customer has, you know, snap their line off or something like that, and maybe I don't have time to retie the whole thing because we're in a great fishing area, I can just grab out another rod, put it in their hand, we're ready to go. So again, the efficiency of that, things that are already ready to go and organized all within reach around you, super awesome. So another thing that I keep in my boat is a spare oar. So I have Prolox oars and I keep my spare in this cubby along the side and it just fits in nicely. And I have these sorts of like trays on both sides and my extra paddle here. Oli likes this little space between the side of the boat and the rower's bench. What, what is it? Shh, you don't know. You think, Wiggs, there could be a, I got the net out. Sometimes this is exciting news to him. What is it? Is there a fish? Is there a fish? Is there a fish? Oh yeah, could be a fish. <laughs> okay, good boy. <laughs> All right, Oli, load up, time to go. <laughs> so I keep my net kind of tucked along the side of the boat too, so I can grab it and not move very far to use it. And I have this net that has an extendable handle, so I flip it up and I can make it really long and then I can make it really short. And it has like a measuring thing on it too, which is like pretty fun. But anyways, it's a really cool net. It was a custom made net and is no longer, the company that made it isn't in business anymore. Otherwise I would tell you all about it. But um, as long as it's still working for me, I'm gonna keep it in the boat. I love this net and it tucks along right here. So uh, in my boat, we also have braces on the front and in the back. So I have a fisherman that's maybe fishing out of the back and we're bumping along the river or, you know, in kind of like, you know, rougher waters or even in calm waters when you're standing up in a boat, you want to have good balance and it'll help you with your cast ac accuracy and it'll keep you from falling over. So being in the brace is helpful. And all of my seats, I can move around and have more storage in the back. And just like these front two seats, which also slide around. And I keep things like my PFDs tucked down in them and that sort of thing and all of these can slide around. So if I am just going fishing with one other person and I'm prioritizing space in the boat because I wanna have a picnic with my dog and I, I can get rid of these seats and have more space for he and I to do activities. And if I have a bunch of people fishing in the boat, I have plenty of space for them too. And finally, towards the front of my boat, I have one more cubby and I keep my, um, my rod holders and the extra propane tanks because I cook lunch, I love hot food, and a pump just in case you're taking in a bunch of water and you need to pump some of it out or it's raining really hard, as sometimes it does on the peninsula, I can pump a little bit of that water out too. So that's a little bit about my boat. Some other really cool features that I would really recommend if you're thinking about getting a drift boat or want to set your boat up for uh, ease of use is I have oar buddies in my boat. And what that is, is when I'm out and rowing and let's say it's time to net a fish, I don't want to just drop the oars. I can just pop them in my oar buddies and I'm hands free and ready to go and I don't have oars flailing all over the place. Sometimes I'll just tuck my oar inside the boat too, but the oar buddy makes it really, really nice. So instead of having something across your boat and you're having to like step over it and work around it, the oar buddy makes it really nice. And then let's say that we, you know, we netted the fish, it's in the boat, we're gonna take that one home with us. I can drop my net and get right back in the oars because like I said, we're in moving water and being able to be nimble and quick and have access to the things that you need is really, really important in that sort of situation. So 
there you have it. So that's a little bit of how I organize my boat for when I'm going salmon and steelhead fishing. Because I'm a little out of season now and I can't fish where I'm at, a lot of things are put away and pulled out of the boat. It's generally a little bit more full, but this is how it's going to hang out kind of in preparation for the next fishing excursion that Oli and I hopefully get to go on soon, right buddy? Yeah, we hope so. So until then, please subscribe to my channel, uh, like this video, and if you have any ideas for videos that you would love to see uh, in the future regarding fishing, outdoor, lifestyle, cooking, any of that, please drop me a comment. I would love to know. And if you have a similar boat or have some setup tips, share those too so others can benefit from that. And until then, we'll see you next time. Anchors up. You ready, buddy? All right, where are we going? I don't, I don't really know either, but we're gonna go. Assume the position. Just close your eyes, buddy. It's fine. We can protect. You don't know? You don't want a bratwurst? We're fishing, Wally. Come on, keep your head in the game. He doesn't know. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. What is that? Don't eat it. No, no, don't eat it. It's in your mouth.